All right, guys, we're back with this great Dane, who I just love, this great Dane. And there is an art. I hope I'm there. And if you said, what should you expect from a great Dane? Generally, no food drive. I've, I've, and I'm sure there's some. If you said, well, I've seen one with food drive. No, I would believe that. But as a general rule, they're so hypersensitive. Selective breeding these things that, you know, eat it out just because, uh, you know, these people have to be realistic. All right, hang on. Let me see if I'm on Wi-Fi. Okay, I'm on Wi-Fi. That's probably why it's going out every two seconds. Anyway, so they're very, very soft temperament. They don't forget. And if you said why, they're very, they're very sensitive. And sensitive things don't forget things the way insensitive things do. So I shaped a deliver to hand in this dog got to get the collar on so she lives in the house with this little chihuahua then they don't like each other so i've got to get the collar on this dog is not good about getting the collar on and my advice is Try to get it on before you come out, but I'm just gonna, she's getting better. That's how it should be though. You've gotta think of it as putting a bridle on a horse. If you've got a horse that you can't get the bridle, I'll tell you what they call that, a big problem horse. All right, so I can do a little bit of the deliver to hand and then I'll do the obedience. And I doubt <coughs> probably worked with her aunt. And she's got the cherry, I think. I can't drink enough of this Crystal Light cherry. <laughs> it's like cherry Kool-Aid from when I was a kid. So I don't really, I don't really remember exactly what I had her doing. I know she's very sensitive though, so I have to be careful. So I got my hands in there. She knows she's got to hand it to me. All right, now I'm just looking at the other one. Oh, she's precious. Oh, she's precious. So they have a very, very soft mouth. If you said, well, I've trained a lot of Danes to do that. I've never trained one to do it before. And it wasn't that easy with this one because, again, anytime you're talking about low food drive, if you said, what do you have to do? Boy, you have to compensate and be a way better handler, a better coach, because the dog is not doing it. But I will tell you, Ann, I see a big difference in the food drive with this dog with the only once a day feeding. Just so you guys at home know, when, when the people tell you, oh, it hasn't been finishing all its food, your response is, you're giving it too much food. <laughs> so, yeah, so the I see a dramatic difference in the food drive just with reducing, and they don't, I mean, they look exactly the same. They don't look like they lost any weight or anything. Uh, so I can try putting it, far, one time I tried putting it in the footstool like as a basket, but then that scared her, so you, you don't want that. It'd be better if I had square bottles. Oh. But the handler here is very, this is the turtle handler. I'm not reaching, I'm not. Yay. My job was to catch it that time. Anyway, so that's where we're at. And it's, it's there's a permanence to this behavior in this dog because I'm pretty sure you don't work with an Ann, but. That's, that's your job. You know, I don't charge any extra to teach this, only because it's feeding your big picture and you're learning. Oh, Peter. Oh, Peter. You're learning how to do it better. thing I don't think I ever did have her picking up the dumbbells but you know water bottles are good to use and the only thing you've got to make sure and have the cap on I, I didn't really want to toss that but yay. <laughs> so that was my guarding you need to have them 
I think saying, I expect the handler, the dog saying to itself. That guarding behavior of not just, you know, everybody takes advantage of me. That's why I have to have that guarding behavior. You know, and, and again, if I just, I wasn't careful, then it would just keep grabbing it off my lap, and then the whole thing would go south. So anyway, but I very, very carefully crafted that in this dog just because it's a super, super, oh, hi, Linnea. Oh, I don't think you've ever seen this one before. Maybe you did, Linnea. I don't know how long you've been with me, girl, but I want you to know I, I appreciate your loyal fanship, and you like all the videos. When people say we watch, but we don't like, I say, oh, God. All right, I, this is what I say, Linnea. Oh, okay, no, I don't want to put you out. <laughs> <laughs> Linnea's like, she's losing it. So I don't, I don't pull on this dog at all. I don't pull on it at all. And if you said why, if you get any kind of opposition reflex out of one of these, you're in trouble. I mean, they are ungodly strong. I'm gonna go find that one video. Crezzo shared it the other day where that woman has a great Dane on a leash and it takes off and, and she flies through the air. So I'm gonna, I, I can do a silent recall and I do think this is how you know to do this. If you're getting a lot of default recall, then start adding your recall. And if you said, well, what if I did it slightly after the dog was already coming? No, so you're fine. You know, if that was constant, you would ruin your dog. But luckily with the pager, that doesn't happen. Oh, no, Lonely, I was having a breakdown earlier. Uh, just about apathy these people have to allow publicly this abuse to go on in our industry and yeah, support it hey give him a thumbs up we'll let him know we're behind this work oh my god i almost lost it all right hang on let me let me grab a leash real quick This will be a good analogy. This will be a good analogy, Linnea. You know, that's I tell people. If you can get a horse, if horses can be trained, that's standard practice to be able to put a halter on and lead the thing. You know, we're talking about something that outweighs you by hundreds and hundreds of pounds, but they don't think about that with dogs. Hello, man. All right, so let me show you what I've got. And she's looking. At it. I'm going to wait till she looks the other way and I can do the pager. She's starting to kind of go away. is on there again the dog has to have a consciousness and I'm not it, she's got to have a consciousness that I'm not gonna jerk on this thing if you said I started with the prong no I didn't I can show you the very first day with this dog all right so this is what I've got I got my technical turn spin spin and the dog's got the perfect head angle right there. Watch, spin, forward, spin. And she'll turn the other way too, but big signal, big signal, big signal. Big signal, big signal. So I, I'm not jerking on the dog at all. All right, she goes backwards too. Let's see if we can get her doing that. <laughs> so if you said, what are you taught? What are you saying? A tiny, tiny, tiny little mantra. That's how they think we talk. I'll write it down for you, Linnea. You can use it too. <laughs> Paul's like, oh my God, get rid of her. 
Uh, but you, you got that. That's that is making the difference. If I'm trying to say complete the behavior, I will then give you a yes. Oh, stop it. That didn't work. She actually brown tied too. And uh, I hope you saw that. So there, are, there I am. I can spin the dog. If you said, can any handler do that? Oh, absolutely. Spin the dog. You have to think of this thing like a truck. Turn it this way. Oh! She'll match me step for step. Let me see if I can get her to do it. That's how you know you're doing good. All right, hang on. And then she's got a default down. I had to guess Ann maybe hadn't worked on that one. Molly, you're not doing a good job. Yeah, yeah, yeah that, just think of it, Linnea, like with horses. A horse that won't back up, that's not good. All right, let me see if I can get her to default to the down. And if you said how, throw in a bunch of precursors. Oh, boy. precursor way ahead of time before I want the dog to do it. So when she made that extra move to go on the hip, I and she went, oh, 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 something. I made a fast move, she made a fast move. All right, I can pick it up with the pager. Izzy, I can spin, I can spin, it's bending all the way around me, the dog has to bend. You know, people are worried about hind end awareness, how about bend end awareness? All right, watch, barrel horse, barrel horse. <laughs> all right, let's see if we can get our down by default. That was just a subtle, and if you said you're signaling it to go down, I'm just kind of giving little hints. If you said, is she going to slap down real fast? No, no. No, she's going to lower herself like the Titanic into the ocean. And you've got to be ready for that. If you said, well, snatch it, make it go down fast. Not this dog. And watch her back end. That's how you can tell. See, I'm not telling her to do anything. I'm just sort of implying there might be. something that could be done. No, she's getting my implication too. She's just not. She's got a mechanical down though. I, it, I don't know. I noticed it that much, but I noticed it right then. It's very mechanical. Your best bet is just to keep letting it occur mechanically. All right, I can pick her up. Izzy! If you said you're pulling on her, I'm not pulling on her at all. So turn this way, turn, turn. Look out, baby, look out! <laughs> Anne's like, watch out! Oh, baby! <laughs> That's where we have to have the Oh, these two are my little, they're like little mice. Ah. So I'm very careful and deliberate how I take the leash off. And if you said, what happens if you don't do it right? I'll go find that, uh video of that woman with the attack trained poodle and those things when you're trying to get the leash and the collar and the hair from their ears is getting caught and everything all the time and so this dog was really really hinky about its ears being touched yeah really really hinky so i'm on zero i'm just using my pager and i'm defining that turn with the 
page. It's the same on every dog. So here we go. Boom. There's a pause. Then we can go from there. And let me see if I can get her to. You watch her. Yeah. <laughs> I added my pager right there. Boom. If you said, what was your first clue? The head dropped. The head dropped. And that's what you want to look for. All right, I might be able to get her to go flatter. Flatter, Isa. Flatter. Oh, that's very flat, Isa. All right, I'm going to pick her up. Izzy. Turn. You're just getting the same turn every time. Turn. Turn. And fly. Oh, she wants to go backwards. Oh, no, there she goes. Then you're all through. Anyway, I love this dog. And I didn't touch the dog at all. They're very, very sensitive. If you said what would ruin everything. Oh, hi, Carlos. Slapping them. They're, they're very, very sensitive. That's why they're easy to train. Their whole body is sensitive to any little touch or anything. So don't. So, and she's just choosing to lay there. Anyway, guys, I hope you guys like that. And I'm, you know, I'm just on zero. I'm doing all of that with the pager. I'm manipulating the dog and moving. I'm helping it understand how to move with me. I think maybe that's what you want to think of. It's making it easier. <laughs> it's making it easier to understand. I, you know, I wouldn't want that. And it's not hurting the dog in any way. You know, <sighs> anyway, <laughs> I'm glad some of you are still here. All right, I'll be right back.